Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it is the last 100 days of Christmas. So this might be a little bit of a longer 100 days of Christmas video, but that's okay. It is Christmas Day. I was so far behind that I finally caught up today, and I finished it. So let's talk. Oh, I have my computer up, so I'm going to actually turn and look at some things because I can't remember what everything is. Day 93, right here. This burgundy one right here is the blanket stitch. Now, it's interesting to me that it's called the blanket stitch. It's very similar to the Suzette stitch, but it's a little different. But um, I'm used to the crochet blank, or sorry, the uh, embroidery blanket stitch, which is the stitch that um, I do on the edges of my towels for doing crochet um, towel toppers. Um, so that's like where it's kind of got a line down kind of a thing. But this is the crochet stitch called the blanket stitch. I think because that's mostly what it's used for. Uh, the next stitch for day 95, she called it the extended braided stitch. And let me show you the right side first. Oh, which, by the way, the blanket stitch looks fine on both sides. Um, the extended braided stitch in this hunter green, it's a combination of extended half double crochets and single crochets. So that's interesting. So we've got that look there. And then the back actually kind of looks cool too, but it's different. It's very definitely one, one side. But I could see a project choosing to use the back side in something or front side in something and having that kind of be the thing. Have a little piece of yarn that was poking out there. So then the next one I did, I had to look to see if I'd done this one because I've done so many different things, but I couldn't find it. So I don't think I had, she's calling it the seedling stitch. It is basically, it's the same on both sides. It is basically the um, front. Po it's a front post crochet, then a back post crochet, um, double crochet. So they're double crochets, front post and back cross, from, and you alternate back and forth. And then when you go around, you alternate back and forth. So it's very similar to like a basket stitch, but it's just one, one thing. Okay, and then for day ninety nine, I have the. Um, Granny cluster, granny clusters definitely look better in like longer things. Here's the other side. Um, it would look better if it had more rows, but it's still pretty cool. Did for day 100, I did not do two single crochet rows. Like every other even day, it's um, two single crochet rows. I did a single crochet and then I finished with the crab stitch, also known as the reverse single crochet. And so I did that on this end. And then I went to my other end and I did a row of single crochet and finished with the crab stitch as well. So it is all, all done. The whole thing. I'm going to switch back over so I can actually see it. <laughs> it is all done. So, um, I folded it in half to measure it because my thing was not cooperating very well for me. So fold it in half. It is basically 40 inches. So let's talk about how I really feel about it. I love the colors. I love a lot of the stitches. Um, if I were to do something like this again, I would probably have more than one hook size because some of the stitches are tighter than other stitches. Um, my, oh, I ended up with some rows that had 30 stitches and some rows with 28. I even had some that ended up with, sorry, some rows had 30, a lot had 29, some even had 28. That's like how crazy this scarf has been. And, but when I was keeping it 30 back here, when I was keeping it 30, it's still extremely uneven throughout the whole thing. This was all um 30 and it's all super uneven until we get up here and then it's 
I got a mixture and like rows like this that look so much bigger they're actually less on the row and so it's pretty crazy I would let's just say my OCD was kind of going crazy with this I love the colors I love the opportunity to learn so many stitches I'm amazed at crochet I've been crocheting for 40 plus years and the ability to take so many different things and put them together is just amazing to me and um, knitting is fun I love knitting it has been a treasure to learn but crochet Crochet has so much more that you can do with it. Like, let's see, one of my favorites is this one right here. And you know, that's like, it's it's so easy too. Once you know basic steps, stitches, it is so easy. This is another one of my favorites in this one. So it's just, it's amazing to me. Like to put a single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. And then skip a stitch. That's called the Suzette stitch. I've done that before. I didn't know it had a name. In fact, the um, the Dragon Eye pillow that I gave my son for Christmas, um, it was also a it was the Suzette stitch. But she didn't call it the Suzette stitch in the pattern. She just said how to do it: single crochet double crochet in the same stitch, skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet in the same stitch, skip a, skip a stitch. So it was the same thing. Um, so that was kind of fun. It's kind of fun to list, to notice the different kinds of texture, how it feels different with different, like different yarns. Cause my green yarn is a little bit different, but this hunter green yarn, I love this. And I like my burgundy. I don't know what brand the red and the green are, but Whatever these burgundy ones, mm, they are very nice. But see, I just, I don't like the inconsistency in size, but I'm definitely enjoyed the experience. I'm so glad I participated. It was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> I actually have plans for next year. And my plans will be announced later in the year because I've got a lot of, do a lot of things, but. It was a lot of fun, and I really appreciate Lorraine for doing this. Um, thank you for letting me participate. I hope you all have had a very Merry Christmas, and that you all have a Happy New Year. And I'm looking forward to another year of fun and creativity and more things like this. So, like, this was the beginning here, the cobblestone, and it's just, it's gorgeous. It is so much fun. It is just crazy to me how many different kind of stitches there are on crochet. Because this was not it. There were more. And that's like basically 80, 80 inches of uh, yarny goodness right there. So uh, remember to let your light shine through your creations. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.